In San Francisco, Supervisor Dean Preston is calling for a public hearing to address the ongoing car break-ins at some of the city's top tourist destinations. As ABC 7 News reporter Suzanne Fawn found, the supervisor wants an honest conversation about what's working and what's not. I think everybody that I know who's been in the city long enough has probably had their car broken into. Chances are you or someone you know have had a car broken into in the city of San Francisco. And just in the last month, there's been a series of them around here. At Alamo Square, Andrea Lee has seen it happen. There's been happening a lot around here, kind of in the middle of the day. Well, we see broken glass almost all the time, especially near Alamo Square if you're walking up this way on Fulton. Take a closer look at the data. While there is no publicly available up-to-date stats around San Francisco car break-ins, we do have a list of the theft incidents reported to police. Those show a dramatic decrease in 2020. Slight increases each year after, but not a return to pre-pandemic levels. What can be done about it? San Francisco Supervisor Dean Preston wants to know. That's why he's calling for a public hearing. We are not trying to reinvent the wheel here with, uh, with ideas. A lot of people have been working on this, thinking about it. What we want to emphasize is what we are doing is the city is not working. In 2017, the city uh, launched the Park Smart campaign and put up signs. But we could be doing way more, and at minimum, so that tourists understand that they cannot leave anything in their car anywhere in the city of San Francisco. Tourist destinations like Fisherman's Wharf have been a big problem for car break-ins. Supervisor Preston points out other trouble spots. We have three major hot spots in District 5, Japantown, Alamo Square, and the Haight-Ashbury have experienced ongoing problems. We're getting more and more complaints, and I think that's partly because people are seeing more incidents in their neighborhood, but it's also partly from just the frustration of, uh, of really not knowing what is the city doing about this right now. And since calling for a public hearing on car break-ins to be held in September. Really take a hard look at what's working, what isn't. In San Francisco, Suzanne Fawn, ABC 7 News.